Hey guys, what's up? JD here. Uh, it's been a while. Last video was posted over a month, I think. I've uh, just been busy with a new job. Uh, working hard, trying to get some money for Christmas coming up. Yeah, you all know how it is. Uh, unless you're 14 or 15, which I'm pretty sure most years are. Uh, a little bit about the gameplay. Um, I know it's a little bit ironic. <laughs> the title being a bit of a downer on Call of Duty when I'm playing Modern Warfare 3. But, as you can see, M16 with sleight of hand, quick draw, I think it's just quick draw, and marksman, I think it was just one of prestige, this is an old gameplay, but um, what I wanted to talk about was, well, I think Call of Duty is losing its touch a little bit, um, I think the last maybe three Call of Duties, it's, uh, they've all been good games, each to their own extent, but I think the replayability or the replay factor is losing, oh, it's lowering, sorry. Um, Call of Duty 4, I felt like that, that was my first online Call of Duty game and my first Call of Duty game was Call of Duty 3 back on PS2. But Call of Duty 4 I think was where the online, com the online scene started for me. Call of Duty 4 was just, it was just out of there was no other game at the time that could really compare, at least in my opinion. After that, World at War came out. I was a big fan of World at War. It was sort of like the runt brother of the family. Uh, did its part to the family, but it sort of didn't didn't really catch on. No one really liked it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was just the World War II version of Modern Warfare. Yeah, I think it was pretty well done. Uh, the storyline was well done uh, and the zombies, the zombies, I wasn't really a big zombies fan, never have been, but I think that was a good addition to the Call of Duty franchise, at least for the last two Treyarch games. It's been a big hit. Modern Warfare 2, I feel Modern Warfare 2, they did too much and I'm sure everyone knows that, you know, the 15 or something kill streaks, all stacking. Yeah, everyone knows the drill, Harry, a chopper gunner, and nuke. Yeah, it seemed to be a recurring theme in Modern Warfare 2. Black Ops, I feel Black Ops was the worst Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4. It just did not go well for me. Uh, the hit rego was terrible. Even if I was on four bars, or what seemed like four bars, even if I was hosting, I couldn't, couldn't seem to do anything on the game. It's... It's just, I don't know. I actually sold the disc to trade it in for NBA 2K12, which probably wasn't a good upgrade, but I feel like it was a good change because Black Ops just no, it did my head in. And now we got Modern Warfare 3. Um, it's still too early to judge on Modern Warfare 3, but I think the worst part about it is the map size. The maps might be a touch too small, or maybe it's got to do with the spawn system that uh, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer have put into it. Because I know Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 had map sizes. Um, well, sorry, had maps the same size as what you'll find in Modern Warfare 3, but the spawns in this game are just ridiculous. Uh, even just on a competitive scene, I can't see myself sticking around it for too long. It's. Uh, I'm not too sure. It's. Still too early to judge, but there are a lot of flaws in the game that needed to be fixed early on. The, the last couple of patches have fixed the lag, for me at least, and they actually opened my nap type in the last patch, so that's a big one for me because I was stuck on close for the first month or so of playing. But this year I feel, I don't know, I think I've broadened my gaming my gaming genres, if you can put it like that. Um, <coughs> excuse me. No longer do I spend 12 months playing Call of Duty game. Uh, this last maybe 12 months, I've seen myself playing Batman, Arkham City, Assassin's Creed, Revelations, Skyrim, LA Nair, Portal 2, Resistance 3, Killzone 3, Uncharted 3, and Battlefield 3. And just to be... Just to be clear, I'm not going to start a Battlefield 3 Modern Warfare 3 game. Uh, sorry, comparison, because it's essentially like comparing the rugby league team Melbourne Storm to the soccer football team Melbourne Victory. 
They're both in the same area. They both, uh, you know, well recognised sporting teams, but they're completely different. Uh, it's, uh, you'd be an idiot to compare the two, really, and fight over it because it just, you know, there's nothing, nothing, nothing at all that can be compared on other than you both shoot guns in a first person perspective. Um, it's just, I don't know. I feel like Call of Duty has lowered its standard a little bit. I think it caters for the younger generation now, even though it's still, uh, what is it, a 17 age or an over game raider, I think. I'm not even sure anymore. I don't pay much attention to it. I just buy the game. I'm not harping on about saying that Modern Warfare 3 is a bad game and every Call of Duty since Call of Duty 4 has been a bad game. It's just, it hasn't lived up to my standards, I suppose. Um... I don't know, it's just Call of Duty 4, I've played that game now for four years and I still chuck the disc in even with Modern Warfare 3 being out. I actually chucked it in the other day and had a load of fun. You can still find Australian servers, which is really surprising. Um, I'm surprised people still play Black Ops. I actually have a couple of people on my list that still chuck the disc in every now and then. Uh, that game was just AIDS for me, anyway. I don't know how you can still play it. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I feel the best addition has been the survival mode. I have enjoyed playing that every now and then. But the, the replayability of the of the game is not up to standard as what Call of Duty 4 was. And yet my first Call of Duty was Call of Duty 3, as I said before, on PS2. Uh, I've played the original Call of Duty with the expansion, or sorry, the DLC that came with Modern Warfare 2 because I bought the hardened edition. And even that was better than Modern Warfare 2. I actually saw myself playing Call of Duty Classic more than Modern Warfare 3 in the first two, three months of the game coming out. It's just, that's how bad I thought Modern Warfare 2 was. Uh, I don't know. It's it's a hard topic to pick because I know I am really am expanding to a Call of Duty community. <coughs> Even, no, oh, excuse me, my throat's just killing me. Even though, even though I know I'm still going to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 over the next 12 months, I don't see myself racking up the amount of day time, the, sorry, game time is what I have in past Call of Duties. It's actually lowered significantly, significantly since COD 4, sorry. Uh, COD 4 I have 21 days on it, World at War 10, Modern Warfare 2 7, and Black Ops I think I had 3. Just shows to you that the quality of games, uh, the quality of... The, just the quality of the Call of Duty games that have been in the last couple of years. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's because I'm getting older and I'm sort of over the over the mm, the childish stuff of Call of Duty. I think, like I said, Call of Duty caters to the younger generation, 14, 15 year olds now. Just with all the perks, the kill streaks, the mother of all bombs, the nuke in Modern Warfare 2. It's still a fun game to play, but I think it's just because I'm getting older. I'm not, I'm not an old fart, I'm only 19, but I think just because I've, I've widened my horizons in terms of gaming. I feel I feel the best game that I've played this year was probably Portal 2. Portal 2 was effing fun. I didn't play Portal. Cause, actually, I, I lie, I did play Portal at a friend's house a couple of times. I think I got to maybe the third or fourth chapter and I just, it just did my head in. Uh, purely because I'm not a PC gamer and it was just because I was in love with Call of Duty at the time. I didn't really get into it. Also another honourable mention would be Batman Arkham City. That game was just brilliant. Uh, I'm not sure. Hopefully, hopefully the next couple of months the, the little niggly things in Modern Warfare 3 are fixed. Maybe I might be playing it a little bit more. I'll still play it, but obviously not as much. Anyway, the video's wrapping up. Sorry about the ironic the ironic video to the title, but it's the only thing I had at the moment, and I just wanted to get something out there, because it's been a month anyway. If you like the video, subscribe, like, favourite, comment, <coughs> sorry, comment, do whatever you want, and cheers for watching.